Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Ara Martirosian and I'm going to show you how to import new purchase orders into Sage 50 using Excel to Sage with just one click. So how could you use this import? Well, you could use it to create new purchase orders generated in other systems. For example, from your website or from your EPOS system. So let's see how easy it is to do this. I'll start in my Sage 50. And as you can see, I don't have any purchase orders currently. What I want to do is import two purchase orders on suppliers account Red IT3 and Red IT4. The first purchase order has two lines on it and the second purchase order has one. As you can see, the Excel workbook has lookup tables, which make sure we get the right account code, the right product, and the right tax code. So all I have to do is go into Sage and launch the program Excel to Sage. I can then log into the product, which will then activate all the imports that are available to me. And the one that I'm interested in is purchase orders. I'll click on the button and what that will do is it will go to the Excel workbook and take the details from my purchase orders and import them into Sage 50 with full validation on the product code, the supplier code, the VAT code and all the other fields that you would normally validate if you were to import it manually. Having done that, it will then come back and tell us that it's finished importing those particular purchase orders. There it is, it's finished. So I'll disconnect and exit, go back and click on the number field to refresh it, and there we are. If I on it, I can see that that particular purchase order has got the two lines on it from my Excel workbook. If I then click onto the second one, I'll see that that has a single line per my Excel workbook. These can then be printed and processed within Sage 50 as normal. That's dead easy. So, in summary, Excel to Sage is very easy to use very quick and cost effective. You can create your Excel file anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the machine with Sage installed on it. And it can then be emailed back to your accounts department for checking authorization and import. It has user defined validation lists, which can be changed to suit the purpose. Thank you for your time and interest in Excel to Sage, and I hope you found that presentation of interest. Please feel free to download our free trial now and test it for yourself. You'll be glad that you did. Thank you.